Welcome back to another fun-filled episode of Undressed with Paul and Patrick. I'm Paul, Patrick, my husband, and a little Snow White 90210. Welcome back, bitches. Hey, Undressed Bitches. Hope you're having an amazing time. Before we start our show and introduce our awesome guest today, I want to remind everybody to rate, review, subscribe, listen on Apple, Spotify, and you can watch it on YouTube. And you can book a coffee read because everybody wants Paul's coffee reads at paulatu.com. Hurry up, bitches. Get out your phones and let's make it happen. Exactly. You're supposed to tell everybody, your brother, your sister, your mother. I know, right? Yeah. Your dead grandmother. Wake that bitch up. Make her subscribe. <laughs> you know she, You know she's missing out on some great shit. Exactly. Can I introduce our guest? Yeah. Okay. Like I, We've known him for a long time, off and on. It's kind of crazy. He's been to this boutique before. Uh, doesn't remember it because it was totally <laughs> empty at a party. Um, but you guys all know him from Vanderpump Rules, which is now an Emmy nominated show bitches Woo! tom schwartz is in the house well they wouldn't have been emmy nominated if it wasn't for tom <laughs> schwartz <laughs> uh, no 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 tom sandoval <laughs> um yeah oh sure you want to give him credit how did it feel to like now after being on the show for 10 years to finally you're emmy nominated first of all hi hi yeah. <laughs> you guys look fucking fabulous and every time I come to Beverly Hills, I've been neglecting Beverly Hills. I have my pretty woman moment. It's, you know, it's playing in my mind right now. Yes. Pretty woman, and I, and I love it here. And um, it just feels good to be back in Beverly Hills. Right. Night, don't worry, we're not going to throw you out. No, 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 it's okay. I know. It's so beautiful. You know, the smells. The it's scent. just, it's, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm immersed in couture. And, yeah. and, 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 and by the way, the irony is not lost on me. Me coming <laughs> on a show about style, fashion, I have neither. Yeah, uh, well, we're gonna get to that one. Yeah, we'll we'll be talking about that. We're, we're gonna get to right down. Now. We'll get there, but I will say, yeah. you know, and, and and I'm, I'm a very humble person. Oh, yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, maybe maybe self-deprecating to a fault. Okay, and uh, you know, I have great perspective. I'm very grateful for the show and all the opportunities it's brought, and Lisa Vanderpump, and all, sure, uh, but but. I think maybe we've earned it. I feel like we've bared our souls for about 10 years, 11 years now. Well, you yeah. guys have fucked each other for how, how many years now? So at this point, I mean, there's nobody left. Uh -huh. yeah. Is there anybody left? Really? Yeah, Let's think it. about that. You guys some need, need some new blood. Is that why you moved to the valley? Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you moved to the valley to grow old and, and start a family and yeah. a house. But then, um, you know, uh, it didn't really work out the way. We planned, but um, you know, I may make a divorce now, and I'll probably end up back. We were just talking about this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna move back to West Hollywood. Oh, yeah. roots, uh, are, are you and Katie like your friends? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's it's amicable. Okay, you know, uh, we have joint custody of the pooches. Of course, oh, Gordo yeah. and Butters. I love nice, that. my little angels. I love. And them. At least you didn't have to like give them back and change the names. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Somebody did. We remember that. Oh. You know about that? Yes. Why do we? Oh, they used to live down the stairs from uh, our hairdresser. That's right. Yes. I mean, I feel good right now. We That's were just good. talking about travel. I'm going to Mexico tomorrow. Wow. Nice. I, I, I haven't really traveled since like 2018. <laughs> Double. <gasps> Triple. Double. Double in trouble. Don't trust the first travel. Um, uh, stars on Mars. Yes. Wait, oh, yeah. you guys know what? about Stars on Mars? What? What? Stars we on Mars. We watched it because you were going to be on it, and we figured uh, that's it. The universe is about that. And world. Ariel Winter, because he dressed oh, yeah, Ariel, Ariel Winter. He made a gown for her when she was on Modern yeah. Family. Um, yeah. she was great. What a gem. She's grown she's up to be such a beautiful human. Wait. She's um, uh, she's she beautiful, intelligent, yeah, and witty, and just she has a great uh. Uh, kind of wry sense of humor, and um, yeah, it was really fun she filming. Edgy, and you'd never even expect. And you, it. you went to Australia for that? Yes, it was. But I, did you see Australia? They just picked you up on a plane and shoved you into the mountains. So they, so they took us to Adelaide, <laughs> and um, it was fabulous. They put us up in a very posh hotel. Ooh. And there was a casino underneath in which I lost a lot of money. Oh, no. But it was worth it. Your own money? Yeah. They didn't give you gambling? No, chips? there's no gambling chips. What the fuck? No, but by the way, what kind of a hotel is this? They're supposed to spot you at least 100. I got treated like a king. Honestly, I felt like I was in a fairy tale. Really? Up in Adelaide, and then we, we filmed in um, the opal mining capital of the world. It's called okay. Cuba PD. Yep. I was actually with the producers in West Hollywood last night. Uh, shout out to Kim and Jerry if they ever see this and everyone nice. who hired me. But it was, nice. this is going to be cheesy. It was out of this world. That really? whole experience, yeah. it was like... It wasn't like Vanderpump Rules where they don't <laughs> feed you, they don't give you mental illness. 
it, check up. You the, don't know whether you're on contract or not yeah, until yeah. the end. No, exactly. They make you come to set and you have to like uh, pay or play. And, no, like, no it was like it was fabulous, and yeah. we all got along, and there was camaraderie and um, the spirit of uh, competition, and like I, it's it was cool. It was waking up next to Lance Armstrong, oh, Richard Sherman. Wow, that's gonna and be legends, icon, and, I mean. and like Marshawn Lynch was strolling the room, and like you know my bunkmate was uh, Christopher Mintz Plotz. And Adam Rapon was okay. in there. I don't know if you know Adam oh, Rapon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this was my crew. Did he won? Yes, he won. How did he fucking win? I don't understand Adam, that. By the way, Adam, I miss you. If you see this, I love Adam. Oh, you uh, miss cuddling. Adam and Aria, uh, Adam and Tallulah, I do miss cuddling. Well, we didn't cuddle, but I mean. <laughs> yeah, you did. Maybe. Um, yeah, you did. No, I, I went totally down to cuddle, Adam. <laughs> you ever see this? Um, <laughs> you guys are putting me for a loop right now. Um, let me reset. How, but, uh, how how long were you in Australia filming? Uh, like ten days. Oh, so it was quick. I got, you know, I could. Uh, it was one of the coolest experiences of yeah. my entire life. It was a great analog for what life would actually be on Mars, and it did a really good job of suspending or creating that reality. Yeah, it was awesome. And, I mean, uh, just visually, yeah, it was beautiful to see, to like, see. a desert cool. landscape and things like that. You guys really watched. We did. Yeah. Thank you. Only we did. Thank you. We fast forward. We're probably the only ones. We're probably the only ones. But we, we did watch. watch your part. I was. I. I felt like I was. I don't know. I felt like I was a candle in the sun. There. I was surrounded by greatness. Yeah. You know. Um. But How did well, we on the show. How did the show just come they, about? You know. It, it, <sighs> When things were kind of reaching a fever pitch with you know what uh, of all, um, let's not talk about the other Tom. No, 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 no. Um, <laughs> who, I, who I love, that's my boy. Um, so, of all, what we don't yeah. know what. Yeah, what? We, um, we don't know that. They hit me up and they and they and they gave me a soft pitch and I'm like, do you want to go to Mars? And I'm like, sure, oh, sign me up. Yes, and it, better than being here. Yes, oh my God, it was one of the best and some welcome. Of the stuff you did was pretty crazy. Oh, oh, it was incredible. There, I don't know what the budget for that show was, but if you yeah. haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. It's um, it's funny and adventurous, and they, yeah, I mean, they, they did a great job with the whole well, production. Let me tell it. you, how much fun did we have at Sheena's wedding, though? Oh, my God. That because was fun. Remember how out of the world that was when we were all there? It was dreamy. It was just chilling like a villain, and then you had to go here, you had to do this, yeah. but then it was so much fun. I know. He put on a good... Party. Really? Do you guys? I mean, it was yeah. magical. Do you guys remember the the rainbow at the altar? Yes. It's magical. <laughs> I'm was... like Sheena. How'd you order that one? Divine, heaven sent. It was so cool. The glass over the pool, yeah. like the way they did it, yeah. was very nice. It was amazing how I made the gown for her. <laughs> you guys, this is fucking cool. I'm having a moment right now, and it's good to be. In your presence. Oh, thank you. It so is. Sweet. I'm absorbing your greatness. You say that to all the gays. <laughs> I love you guys. I know. I, I feel like it's always very fleeting when we see each other. I know. It's nice right? to sit down and look you in the eye and have yeah. a conversation when I'm not hyper stimulated at the bars. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm in schmooze mode. Yeah, but since, you're, since doing your job, every yeah. time we see you, you're working, you're doing something. So yeah. it's, and I get it, yeah. the added pressure of having to be able to perform in front of a camera as yeah. well. Yeah. yeah. I get it. Yeah. Um, we don't but, fault you for it. No, I'm, 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 I'm just kind of marinating in gratitude right now. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Yeah, and, right? My birthday's next week. Yeah. Don't forget to give me a gift. It's your birthday next week? 20 it 20 is. It's a Capricorn. 27th? The December? big 2-7. Yeah. Oh, oh, I thought you were turning 27. Oh, 28. 28, yeah. <laughs> like double that. <laughs> Oh my God! Shut up! When did it become about me? He's our guest of honor. Hey, well, so what are you gonna do to celebrate? We. Uh, he's gonna make me give. Him, he's gonna make me give him. A and then we're jumping on a cruise. <laughs> Ten days. Yeah. Wait, the Mediterranean. I like cruises. Yeah. Uh, right, it's gonna be I, fun. Can I? Right? Can yeah, I, come. We're gonna be in Rome. We're celebrating New Year's in Rome. Yeah. That sounds fucking fabulous. Right. I went there for Stasi and Bo's wedding. Oh my God. Oh, they that, got married in. In it, Italy? In Italy. Fairy tale. Oh, wow. Absolute She's fairy so tale. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you guys have a good relationship with them, but it was, it was the We've first time. We've met her a couple of times. We haven't but... really connected yeah. in yeah. that way. Yeah. So, but I mean, she's great. She's one of my best friends. Yeah. Times. She wanted to come on the pod. I know. Yeah. I got to bring yeah. her on. Oh, you yeah. got to hook that up. You got to get Sasha. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She well, is so good in this world. I mean, this is this is her. I real. think she has I one of her own that she just started. She's two. Yeah. 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 And she seems started. so happy now that she's yeah. married. She's and kid. thriving. She's yeah. glowing as well as Bo. They're okay. crushing it uh, career wise. Find the partner. Yeah. That you know you can trust. Yep. I think that's when the true value of your human, yes. your senses really 
come to life and they really start showcasing it in a whole different way. Yeah, yeah. Beautifully stated. Honestly, they they complement each other so well. And um, I don't know. Oh, like... we saw them at the bourbon room. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> love the bourbon room. Yeah. Shout out to Frankie. Yeah. <laughs> he helped us early on at uh, Schwartz and Sandy's with our menu. You know, he's got the cool mustache. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Frankie, yeah. 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 Um, hold on a sec. I just got distracted. <laughs> Again? Yeah. Listen, this is a Talk. free-flowing platform. Do you have ADD, ADHD? Because I do. <laughs> you know what? I have do we nothing. need to unzip your your jacket a little bit? I know, I'm so there. underdressed. You guys look so chic and well, just a very sunny day, effortlessly chic. Um, <laughs> You're fine. But by the way, it's like like my spirit is is at an all time high right now. But on the yeah. way over here, not to go all Californians on you, but Coldwater Canyon almost broke me today. I hate no, Coldwater it was Canyon. gridlocked, <laughs> and I I waited patiently as yeah. I made peace with traffic. And it's part yeah. of LA. Oh, they're trimming some trees. Yes, yeah. and I got about halfway up, and I turned around. It's and then, the worst, oh, sorry, guys. This is boring. But you mean you didn't do what I do? He Go makes his own fucking driveway. lane on Coldwater. <laughs> <laughs> Go up the back like... road. Wait. Take the back roads. You need to hang out more. You got to take the I'll back change. roads. You got to learn how to yeah. go through the back roads and go through people's driveways and stuff. And yeah, they all connect. I know. Yes. Um, He's good at that. It's it's Every once in a while, it's soul-sucking, mind-numbing. You're sitting on the 405, and you're like, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. But yeah. then I get here, and I'm chilling with you guys, and I'm like... See? Well, why did you move to the valley? Um, why did I move to the valley? Yeah. So uh, me and Katie wanted to buy a home. Yep. Uh, great time to buy a home, 2019. Right. Um, we bought a beautiful little palace in Valley Village. And, um, you know, we were planning on starting a family there. And then, you know, life happens. Sure. Sometimes people drift apart. And um, we got to. Do, do you think if you guys were not on the show together, you would have still be together? Well, that's actually. The show that's a good question. Like. Because it's hard because we're, you know, we have our show on yeah. Prime and it's hard when you're putting your life out there yeah. and people, like when he got beat up at the fashion show yeah. in the hate He crime. decided to get the cameras rolling. Well, I did. I'm a producer on the show too. So I, so if I it filmed it. If it bleeds, it leads, baby. Um, no, but um, yeah, uh, I have a great respect for- I'll tell you how many, how many tellies we won though. <laughs> but, but I can say we did win four tellies and because- I took the cameras out for when you got beat up at the fashion show. It is now nominated this year in the American Reality TV Awards for Reality TV Show Moment. Woo! So moment. You, you, you know, it's- You gotta turn, you really gotta turn things that affect us in the real world, right. yes. in our real lives, into somehow a positive. And I think the one thing that I have learned being on television is not to let it consume me, not to let it run me, mm. right? but for me to try to figure out if there's a possibility and a way to let everybody know that you too can go through something like this. I'm sure you have probably gone through something like this. Yeah. And here is what I did. And if I can inspire you to be strong enough to do what you can, right. I think it just makes for a better world that we can all live in. I together. mean, every reality show we've done, Producers are always trying to break us up. They yeah. always like mentally mind fuck you. You know how it is. You've been doing it for 10 years. We we kind of <laughs> just do that naturally, our group of friends. Okay. They don't really have to do much. They just put us in a room. We've known each other. And 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 and, and I'm so grateful um, for this group of friends. I know it's a love-hate. Um, yeah. But, it, it, yeah. you know, we're family. And we've known each other for so long. But I feel very fortunate to be able to do a television show with a group of people that I have history with. Yeah. Sure. Because it's just so effortless. You're connected. And it's so organic. We don't have to contrive things. And not to say, but... You know, I know some shows, we won't name any, that are slightly, you know, soft scripted. Um, but I, I still love those shows. Housewives? By the way. No, no, no. no. Oh. Housewives is seem Kardashians. Cool. We like the Kardashians. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind a little soft script, by the way. But we, yeah, our show is just. Wait, Winter oh. House. Is that soft script? No, no, Wait, no. Winter House? I didn't even think you were going to show. I'm like, why the hell is he on there? Like, I, what is he trying to run away he from? He was hooking up with the other Katie. Yeah. <laughs> Saw that too. Yes. Hey, thanks for watching. I appreciate the support. That's why I'm saying, uh, buddy. Now I have the big question. Which Katie do you prefer? <laughs> That's the third time I've been asked that. I don't want to. Well, he married the Katie that mattered the most. Yes. The other Katie was just a placeholder. <laughs> no, both are fabulous. But I, I spent 13 fabulous years with Katie. Yeah. And um, we had a beautiful marriage while it lasts. I have nothing but good things to say to about her. So, I, of course, I have to give her the rose. But um, me and Floody have a great relationship, too. We're just friends. But 
Like yeah. we, we had like an instant connection. We had a spark and um, yeah. we te we text each other a lot. We hang out when she's in WeHo. This is a boring answer. You want something. Because she's not something. here in LA. Yeah. She's not she's here in LA. No, she's no. Like, she's uh, she's, she's cosmopolitan. Yeah. She's always like, she's in the south of France. She's in oh my God. Uh, Antigua. <laughs> so she's in Valley Village. When you finish, they said, turn me right now. No, 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 no. Talk to me, man. Oh, oh my God. God. That's going to be funny. funny. I love That's it. Um, funny. But uh, no, uh, not much going on in, in, in the in the romance department. i mean going I'm, just I'm falling in love with myself all over again i think that's great that's sweet, yeah. right i've been doing a lot of uh tlc with 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 ts um and you're going to yeah. thailand and singapore yes that's with why the other with tom you guys well that's why i'm right? feeling you guys you're going with tom i want stories four condoms on because you cannot walk oh my down God. the street there oh. with your dingle we're in thailand you you can't. Can't. we are going to eat pray love we're going to absorb oh you're going to be fuck fuck no 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 eat fuck so are you going to the baby or the coast of mui side bad bad i know he's terrible thailand no that's the last the lady boys there oh my god they are pretty interesting spring Loving. Yeah, you're going to be, be praying. No sex. You're going to be on your knees. That's for sure. I well, got you. if you're going to Thailand, you have to go to a live sex show because I took him to his first live sex show in Pat Bangkok. Pong too. You got to go to Pat, Pat Pong too. too. You got to go. Is 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 oh god. They have straight ones too. Is it is is that <laughs> is it ethical? Is it oh do, they, do they get paid well? It's not. There's no. I don't know. No, don't of course know. not. That's the whole idea. I don't know. No, if they get same the same that Vanderpump Rules cast got paid for ten years until this year. <laughs> I know it's good. You guys are funny. Oh, this is nice. I'm gonna have some champagne with you and hang out all day now. You know what? Tell Taylor to. You're supposed to. You're supposed to have a good time. Yeah. Yeah. You're. It's not supposed to be that crazy and real. It's yep. not supposed to be that dramatic. Mm -hmm. Our lives are so intense. Yeah. yeah they and are. What a lot of people don't understand is they think that we're performing for the camera. Yeah. We're they just don't live in our lives. They don't realize how much life we live in one day yeah. that when we wake up in the morning until noon, we've done so much shit. I know that they're like, I'm, what? It's crazy. I'm like, yeah, no, I just did that until noon. I've got this and this and this. I still need to complete yeah. for today. It's you, guys, you guys are vibrating on a very high frequency. I love yeah. your life. So I'm inspired by yeah. this sounds cheap. <laughs> These words sound cheap, but I mean them. I'm, I'm inspired by you guys. You know what? You know yeah. why? 20 years together. Yeah. You know how you said that you have the friends that you're you're working with that you feel really connected to. That's and no matter what happens, you know they're there for you. Yes. You know they're going to yep. be there for you. You yes. know that it doesn't matter how things work out or they don't work out. You're each other's person. Yeah. In yeah. some capacity. I mean, we yeah. knew, we've known Sheena when she was working at the Observer. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> That's a long time. A long time. We do a little um, shout out to Villa Blanca. I miss going and hanging out at I, Villa Blanca. Uh, Sheena's in there. Tom's behind the bar. Yeah. Ariana's slanging drinks. Who else was in there? Pandora. Sheena was I there. I love Villa Blanca. Jason's uh, exp on Expo. Yeah. 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 Max. Um, but back in. Max, you guys know. But Max, you know. I'm telling you, back in the day, things were classy. Yeah. Then you guys decided to get down and dirty. And then we see what the, <laughs> what the result of that one was. Everybody was fucking everybody. Um, I'm like. But, but I, isn't that the premise of the show? Well, the premise of the show is everybody premise? was sleeping with everybody from day one. I, I feel I, 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 I made that comment in an interview, and in, in hindsight, I felt kind of like flippant, um, and I felt like maybe I was degrading. What a beautiful no. friendship we all have! But yeah. Yeah, at some point, everyone kind of was. It was a little incestuous in, in the early days, but I feel like we've done a good job of it, uh, uh, maturing, establishing boundaries. Now. Yeah, not to the point like you'll, boring, you'll, but you like you'll do like kisses and blowjobs, yeah. but not oh go all God. the way. I feel like when you're yeah. saying it's incestuous. But when you're with these people and you're filming with them and you're together yeah. all the time, on and off camera, yeah, by the way, it's not like yeah. we, we're not. We, it's not like we're a cast. We show up, we check in, we clock in, and we check out. Like we we would always hang out after yeah. right. after we're done filming, go on vacations together. Um, I don't know why they're making a big deal. Angelina Jolie took Brad Pitt when they were on the set. <laughs> Isn't that the same thing as what? <laughs> that is kind of true. Know? A loose connection there, I think. That is kind of true. Yeah. Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt did the movie. Yeah. And Mr. and Mrs. Mr. And, and Mrs. Smith, babe. Yeah. Yeah. It's well, okay. they weren't Smith. They were uh, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Angelina Jolie, Brad Pitt. So when they did that, it was like Jennifer 
Shit. Oh, that that's when he. Well, they they yeah. broke up. It was like he awful. was with. He was with of Aaron, course. Aaron, I mean, this was Jennifer Aniston. Yeah. Remember that like shook the world. Exactly. The because they were like the perfect couple, and then suddenly they're just they broke like, up, and there was yeah. another perfect couple. But it's the same thing as what you guys are, but you're the reality version of what already happens on sets. Yeah. Pretty um, much. It's it's. By the way, have you ever seen Brad Pitt in person? Yeah. He, yeah. He's stunning. Fucking gorgeous. I, Stunning, I would man. leave my husband for him. I saw him. <laughs> I, I wouldn't care if you did. At least I know it's a notch higher than mine. I'm good with that. Just don't go lower. It's and and he's he's not young anymore, and he just looks like perfect. Iconic. It's crazy. Timeless. Yeah. yeah. Uh, There's a certain savoir faire that comes with Brad Pitt that I think he should be the next 007. Like what? I see. I don't know if he has I, that yeah. flair. Oh yeah. I think you have to be uh, I I think Irish or, or British or uh, yeah. European no, put him in a little ancestry. bathing suit, let him come out of that water like Daniel Craig did. And by the way, like seriously, that's 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 a, a moment. It's right in here. I, that's I, a moment. I, I that's agree. a moment for everybody yeah. in all aspects of like of yeah. life. That's a that moment. Was, um, What's your favorite movie? Whoa. You I'm can't curious. put me on the spot like Yeah, that. I know. What's your favorite movie? I mean, without thinking about it too much, I would probably say Casino. Yeah. Scorsese. Oh, nice. That's, That's a good a one. That's a tough question, but I, 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 you prefer you prefer the Daniel Charlie's Craig as James, as James uh, Bond. Thinking of um, which Bond do you think is the best? Oh God, you guys, wait! I need to think about these things. Oh, Bond. Um, Daniel Craig is my favorite Bond, but yeah. I have a great Sean appreciation. Connery. Sean Connery. Yeah, he's... he was the epitome of what he was. He... Oh. <laughs> he yeah. Yeah, no, he's a stud. Um, I love all the Bonds in their own way. That's such a stock answer, but I mean it. I have yeah, a great, yeah. I have a great fondness. Um, and um, anyways, well, when you go to Thailand, to Thailand, are you going to Phuket or are you going to Koh Samui side? Or are you going to both? You so, gotta go to Samui. So, uh, so, somewhat. Samui. Koh Samui. Somewhat vit. Samui, oh, the oh, island. Koh Samui, the island on the other side of Thailand. We're gonna be in Bangkok, and uh, yeah, we're, then we're gonna we're staying in some some. some you mean you're gonna be vit. banging it, the cops <laughs> in the There's no, <laughs> no. Uh, I'm gonna be on my best behavior. Of course, I really am. Yeah, we'll I'm try not that. going there for that. They're going sure. to eat, pray, and love. Yeah, that's what we tried. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ex thank you. I want to expand my mind. Yeah, and you're I, gonna I, love I it. To, uh, it's a very spiritual place. Yes, I met the queen. I had seven minutes. It's with the queen in Thailand. Yeah. Really? In Chiang Mai. Wow. Are you going to Chiang Mai? Chiang Mai. No, I, I don't know. Oh, Anything Chiang Mai is possible. possible. Okay, so here's I'm going to send you some places to go. Here's the list of all places yeah. you need to go. You're yep. going to go to Kasamui. Ooh. It's K-O-I. It's on the other No, side. it's K-O-H. Oh. K-O-H. Yeah. But yeah. they call it Samui. Yeah. And it's all the independent islands yeah. in Thailand that you could see 50 feet down to the floor yes. of the water. That's it's amazing. amazing. You could see the shipwreck by just floating on top. Yes. It's yeah. beyond amazing. I've been wanting to do this trip uh, as long as I can remember. We yeah. stayed on one it's of the islands, happening. Tom. 14 couples only yeah. on the whole island. On in the trip. entire island. It was no, that was only for two nights. Yeah. We moved on to the other island. Yeah. Couples you knew or just, no, no, just people random. You've met Sam. Yeah. yeah. Honestly? Yeah. Um, fourteen only fourteen people. Only fourteen people. Room on the whole for fourteen island. people on the island. Can you, can you tell me some more stories? Tell me some tales. Can you tell me some Pat Pong too? And you'll be back with some stories. <laughs> that was he took me to Pat Pong too because we yes. have to go to one of these uh sex shows. Yeah. And I'm like, I've never been to a sex show. I he goes Well he's gonna go to the red light district. He goes I mean, uh, it'll be fine. You're gonna like it. Window it, shopping, maybe. <laughs> well, you don't have to window shop, honey. They're like slinging it right in front of your face. Yeah. So we went, and of course, you know, six two and a half, blonde, blue eyes. You know, he's V V V V V I P. V V V. So they escorted us over there. They put us in the front row, and yeah. then all these men started coming up on stage, and between the shower scene and the sud scene, and the shake the bottle and spritz it all over the scene. Live sex show. Really? Yes. Can, can you give us? Can you give us the cliff notes, beginning, middle, and end? Uh, all it, of it. It doesn't yeah, have to be raunchy. I'm just curious. It was no. It's real stuff. They literally. Go on Story. stage. There's they plot. fuck on stage. No fuck on stage. They do everything. But is there a plot? Yeah. There's a live shower. And there was an ending each time. <laughs> do they shower before or after? Sex? During. Oh, this is steamy. Oh, everybody. Yes. You know what the crazier thing is? Uh, Everyone was American. <laughs> Like, yeah. how close are you? Is there crowd work? Like, like this. Five crowd feet work, away. The like this. Like, yes. <laughs> they really engage you. The they were like, oh, 
I mean, if I we volunteer. if we allow, there was a lot of shooting going on to the audience, no, and we're not talking we about allowed, it. They would have pissed on us. I'm like, no. Give, they gave me umbrellas me. at one point. I had an umbrella. I'm like, no. He's got an umbrella. I I'm like, put up an umbrella. an umbrella to a sex show. I felt I had like a, a shred of pureness before we started this conversation. Now it's gone. I well, you're going to Thailand. Thailand. What do you think is going to happen you're there? Going there for you're that. really going to be able to experience a part of you. I know Love an that. aspect of That's you that has been truly not hidden. Yeah, it has been waiting to want to come out yeah and it's such a beautiful feeling yeah i'm, I'm trying to I, you guys i love that you said that i know we're joking around and i don't want to be yeah. too precious about it um but i am going there for some sort of like spiritual cleanse i don't even know what if you if you ask me to elaborate i can't sure but it just sounds good coming out of my mouth we'll give right you now. a list of places to go um, because you're but, gonna really have fun and you have to go to the you have to go to the floating market oh uh, it's the an floating experience. market is amazing what about the floating market you're on a boat yeah. like a little I don't canoe. know canoe, and you are basically like driving a, like in the a water gondola. at yeah. a marketplace, and you're just they're shopping, you're grabbing things, they're they're holding you can things get over lunch from somebody else's gondola. Yes, yeah. they'll cook it in front of you, and then they'll serve you in your gondola. See, this is what Very I'm talking cool. about. I want to go on gondolas, and I want yeah. to eat delicious food. I don't want to get sprayed um, by. Uh, well, a sex to your former element. And, and you guys got to go to Chiang Mai because the Chiang Mai is the oh. beautiful mountains of You'll Thailand. The white elephant. And the elephant paints. Really? He actually oh. puts a this paintbrush in paints. It's, it's a local celebrity. So famous, yes. Yeah. It's go, very cool. You're gonna go to and then go on an elephant safari. You're yeah. gonna go on an elephant safari and the monkey farm. You, the monkey farm. Went to the went to the uh, the famous uh, monkey temple when I was in um in Japan, and it was lovely. Not this yeah, yeah. This Not is cool. Yeah. This is the real. Very jungle. cool. What else do I need? I'm gonna try. I'm then you're gonna go. Then you're gonna go to uh, the top of the mountain where the white elephant uh, oh, rested, yeah. mm. and you're gonna see the Buddhist monks. Yes. And they're going to give you a blessing. Yeah. And they only do it when they pick you out of an entire thing, so you can't ask for it. Yeah. They have. To bless you. We've both been. It's very spiritual, okay. though. I think it's really good. I think it's going to be a good new awakening for you, especially after the crazy fucking year you've had. Yeah. This is going to really open you. And the other is, Tom's eye. When does Vanderpump start again? When, uh, January, right? January 21st? Yeah. Gotta, okay, so are you going to be back by then? You might as yeah. well stay there. Yes, I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> With long okay, I saw the trailer, So, and, and you have to ask. Yes. When did you kiss Sheena? Because I... Because... <laughs> Like, I don't Who get it. This was a long kids? time ago, right? A long fucking time ago, and they're making it look like it was recent. It, it was a long time That's ago. That's what I thought. Uh, but you'll see how it plays out. Brock is a nice guy. No. The, don't we, do this to Brock. No, no, no. There was no, there's no was affair. Long time. There was no There was no Brock cut his hair. He looks, you know, he he looks beautiful. I, yeah, know. I know. I like this you should, I would have preferred you kissed him instead of her. <laughs> he probably did. Well, <laughs> You'll see. Um, oh, fuck. Wow. No, no, no. You were the truffle? Oh, um, no. Truffle? No, no. no. Brock's one of my dear friends. and that, 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 that. But the way they set it up, right? Because the way they ma manipulate and set things up, I'm like, yeah. okay, this is did, this did not happen oh, she recently. Times like the rest oh, of them. Like, she won't. You'll see. She's probably laughing about it was, the whole thing. <laughs> it was a long time ago. and um, yeah. But they brought it up now, basically. Weird chapter in my life. But uh, yeah. anyways, yeah. You mean she's pregnant with your no. baby? <laughs> oh, what? Guys. No, God. I have a great we respect love, and, and adoration. Love I love Sheena and Brock. And, yeah. Uh, they're a beautiful couple. Yeah. They are. You guys. They definitely are. Yeah. yeah. Um, but wait, I want to inspire people to travel more. You guys are inspiring me. Can we inspire your Yeah. Audience? Have you been what to if, Bali? What if I go up to the temple to be blessed oh. and I don't get chosen? You will. You will. I will be left with a profound sense of uh, rejection. No, they Probably. they seek us little <laughs> wilted flowers out to give us to give us the encouragement to love and don't know what's up. I'm ready to blossom. What 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 country are you going to be in for New Year's? Um, so we leave. Yeah. Oh yeah. We leave Bangkok on the 31st and go to Thailand. So I'm going to be celebrating New Year's Eve in Thailand. In some some vod vid. Wait, some vod some. Help me. Does he think Bangkok is not Thailand? It is Thailand. No, no, I know that. Yeah, yeah. Um, th no, this is a little sub. You're going to an island. I think, no, right? it's called Som Von Did. It's like it's like Som Von Did. Yes, thank you. Yes, I just I just learned yeah. about this, and it's like yeah, it's a hot big place. Very cool. Someone referred to it as that's like Ibiza. It is sort of okay. 
like the idea yeah. of yeah. and he wants to eat and then and then how long are you in you're in thailand <laughs> you're me. and then when you go we, to how Singapore. long we never recommended that place we said go to chiang mai <laughs> i know see the white elephant get blessed and you're on the other side of the hill and singapore when do you go to singapore singapore we go after thailand Okay. And we have no plans. It's beautiful. You're going to love things. It's not regimented, you know? What are you going to No plans. You're just going to show up. We're going to show up. We're going to check in. And just, just you and Tom. So you're going to do Tom, like a Kyle Chan, and Tom. Sort of a thing. Oh, Kyle's going too. Yes. Okay. Cool. You guys. You're taking amazing. The gays? Yeah. I love oh, it. Yes. I love uh, the gays. I feel like most of my friends are part of the LGBTQ community. And, right? and Hong Kong. When are you going to Hong Kong? I'm going to Hong Kong uh, on the 26th, the day after Christmas. Wow. You're gonna like Hong Kong. Hong Kong's amazing. I, I need this. Hong Kong. You've never been, right? No. Yeah. You know what Hong Kong will remind this. you of? Uh. If Vegas and New York City had a baby, got together and had a baby. <laughs> Those are Hong two Kong. of my favorite places. That's what it's Hong Kong look like. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's, You're gonna. It's gonna be. It's, it's gonna be. A that's good, what it looks. Like. It's gonna be a good healing place for you. Actually, you. the whole trip. I think yeah. so. It's gonna I be think, very... I'm super vulnerable lately. Um. Maybe to a fault. So I've uh, just a lot of things going on I'm not outside of the show too with my family members, and I don't want to get bleak here because we're having fun. But right. yeah, it was a stressful few years. But I feel like um, I'm on the verge of a little Schwartz. Let me ask you something. What's next? Yeah. So uh, what's next? So I mean, I have lots of. Little... Are you doing season fourteen? I mean, I don't know. No, season eleven. I guess out, I feel right? like eleven is coming out. Yeah, eleven's coming up right now. Okay. And I like where your head's at. Um, it's like I love we'll, we'll ride it to the wheels fall off. It's such sure. a great it's like it's lightning in a bottle. Yeah. And um, I guess, you know, when it's done, we'll know it's done because it'll start to feel contrived or we'll have right. a soft script. And but then I, you have, I, do you feel yeah. like because I felt like when you guys started when everyone started like having babies and then, you know, and it, it, yeah, it seemed like the show got kind of stagnant. It did for a second. It got it, a little like, yeah, maybe too. And you, fe you felt that too. Kind of yeah. like we're like, OK, where is this going to go now? And then. Yeah. And then everything that Do you guys know who the babies they are? Because I'm not sure if you guys all know if they're you're each other's babies. No, I think Can like, you clarify it for me? Because I don't I, know who's done a DNA test and who hasn't. I love Because I'm telling you. Because you're we, me we were we were we were where were we with Kristen Doty and we were talking to her and it was really funny and she was saying what did she say to us? It was funny because she's like, I guess Lisa Vanderpump had called you guys kids or something. Yeah. And then Kristen, she's like we're, we're not kids. fucking kids. I'm like in my almost 40. <laughs> I know. It's it's weird. Around is that place. weird for you to be referred to like that for the last 10 years? You're like the well, kid. Well, I mean, she's uh, she's matured on the show. She's saying that they all he's have. a lot more mature. Well, I mean, you know. We, I think I think we've grown. We've evolved. We've matured. But not to the point where we're boring. Mm -hmm. um, and by the way... You know I what? I don't have Peter Pan syndrome. Okay, I'm not clinging to my youth, but something. Right. It's like living in the city. It keeps you young, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes. It does. But do you, you feel pray love? Yes. <laughs> but do no. You take like? One do you want to have kids? Flip. Do you want to get married again and have oh, kids? I love that question. I th yes. Okay, because I, I feel like you'll be a kids. great dad. He's gonna have kids. Cool. In you'll be like a cool. I was a cool dad. You'll be a cool dad. I cannot wait to start a family. I'm looking forward to it. I have to find a, a whole new human being. Well, let's see. It's so, so far fetched right Lala, now. Lala, <laughs> Sheena. Let's go down the list of all Lala's the ones like, that have really carried babies. <laughs> And then maybe they can carry one for you. In the words of Lala, she would chew me up and spit me out. That's yeah. true. That's yeah. true. You're like, <laughs> I, 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 I could see that. Mm. Yeah, I could totally see well, that. Well, I mean. That's really good. Well, she does squirt now, apparently. So who knows? Well, true. She said it. She said she squirted. I don't know what that means. I've never had anybody squirt on me like that. I don't know. I don't know if I'm allowed to recite. I don't know what to say right well, now. Well, she said it. Um. She she said. Oh my God! The thing is squirming. Oh my! It's God. not a straight thing. No, you, you know what I love about it's, 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 what I love about I mean, Lala is that she just doesn't give a fuck. She no. just speaks what she feels. She, she, <laughs> she gives them Lala, and I think I think you I think um I think she she's really how do I say this without sound, sounding condescending but she really has um grown and she's a great mother. I yeah. feel like motherhood yeah. has been a great. Uh, source of inspiration, just a great look for her in general. It was like, <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, it looked like it was about to overflow. No, uh, oh. I put it like that on purpose. <laughs> He's letting it dry Don't out. Mess. His coffee. Tom is Tom is fucking with Paul's coffee cup. I'm sorry. Oh my God. You guys, can I plug Tom Tom? We have brunch yes. now. Have you been yeah. to brunch? 
No, we haven't been, we to, haven't brunch been to brunch. Yeah. Well, they put up That's the true. pump sign next door. Yeah, yeah. So we're not sure. Do we go to the right or to the left? I know. It's, it, we're not having an identity crisis. It's just that pump had such a loyal following. Yeah. And really with their brunches, Great. we wanted to embrace that and uh, pay homage to uh, the people who love it. So it's like, yeah, it's sure. still Tom Tom. But um, you know, we put the pump brand. We were in your opening. It's an homage to, I know, I know. Next door, right? Yeah, it's still, it's still all Tom Tom. Tom. Thing, but yeah, Tom. it's just an homage to. to so I've never been in. Is it separated yeah. by two separate restaurants, or it's all one? No, place? it's all it's Connected. all still Tom Tom. But um, yeah, we we we've um took some inspiration from the pump pump brunch menu. Yep. You guys know pump brunch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. pump brunch, and um, yeah, we've incorporated some of the new cocktails. And uh, Todd would always come sit with us. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, by the way, have you guys seen Lisa lately? Ken? No, we haven't. Yeah, no. When did we see them last? A couple I months saw... ago, at some event, but we didn't. Um, yeah, at some event. But what was it? I can't remember. You guys make me, make me, make me fabulous. <laughs> Put me in something couture, something bespoke. I got Look you. At me. If we need to. You're wearing a Snoopy yeah. costume. I, Snoopy. Oh. Uh, it's Snoopy sweatpants. My, I love it. My friend Lori uh, Crab. Uh, she's my publicist. Yeah. Um, and my dear friend. Yeah. She staged an intervention recently. She's like Schwartz, you gotta step gotta, it up, yeah. man. She's like, you gotta like just. I mean, this is very valuable. Who picks your clothes? Who picks your clothes? No, so I actually have a, nobody. I, obviously, because I dressed it myself today. Package from but you, this was from Watch What Happens Live. Uh, we got it from Air, this is uh, Air Apostle, I think. Oh, it was yeah. a little gift. It was from my gift. See, I like swag. If I if I if you <laughs> give me a shirt. With your, with your name on it. Like, sure. if you give me a shirt like that, I'll. We're going to give you a we will. everywhere. We're swag hags. We have a whole gifting suite room in our house. I've never heard that term. I'm going to adopt that. So, Anna Nicole Smith had a whole gifting suite room in her house. So, she kind of taught us yes. the whole swag hag. Yeah. And so we, we have a whole want... room of just swag. Swag hag. <laughs> totally. But I, I have I have stylists now. The Solomon sisters, they're out of Miami and they're fabulous. Yeah. Do you know them? I do know who they you are. Do? Yes. By the way, um, I've become really good friends with them, and and they're just—it's been like uh, uh, it's been such a little blessing in my life. Yeah. You know, because I felt like such a, sh uh, I don't know. I've been kind of what's the word? How would you describe you know, this look right now? You are. Can you guys feeling what you're wearing? Yes. And yes. when you start wearing things that make you feel. Then that's it's an emotional connection for yes. you. And you're you're. But I do love you, Tom. And I have to tell Paul every time I've seen you in the past at different events. What do I always say to you? This boy needs a stylist. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, girls. Thanks for coming into his. Great. Thank you, Solomon sisters. He yeah. fucking needed it. That, I do. And, like sometimes when you're wearing shirts, I just want to grab Paul and like, can you take that shirt off him and just tell him he can. Tuck it in and tighten it. Yes. And tailor it to his body. But he's free play. Free play. Pl Play, it's not pray. <laughs> I, it's like, it's such a straight man look. I, I, it's there's not a lot of thought put into it. But no, I I, I just want to be more presentable, more professional. Yeah, I just elevate my game in general. Now, are you going to the Emmys? Do uh, you get to go? So we're. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm going to the Emmys. Fun the seventh. Um, I'm really excited. Wait, when is, it's January seventh, right? Well, yeah, the, the actual Emmys. I forget what they call this. It's like a. It's the creatives. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We go every it's year. Week we're before. Yes. yes. Exactly. Like. Yeah. It's the week before. Yeah. yeah. So they break it up because the session it's too yeah. long. So they do a creative Emmys and then they do the regular Emmys. Yeah. This is all new and exciting. We've been to. We go every year. Yeah. Yeah. But we're yeah. not going this year because we'll be in Europe. Um. Do you want to dress me? Make me. Fabulous. What do you want to wear? I don't know. I think the Solomon sisters are taking care of me. <laughs> yeah. I promise I'm going to make a vow to you guys and pledge that I will step up my game. The next time you see me at a public I event, it. I will not look <laughs> schleppy. No, I Go hope ahead. not. Is this schleppy? No, I don't think so. I like you it. Said I think it's it's very, you said it's very Valley Village. <laughs> I think it is. It's very, you know, it is. But but at least you have your Schwartz hat on. This is a, this is a sentimental one. When my dad was in the hospital and he almost passed away, um... I made him a hat. He used to own a bar in West St. Paul called Schwartz's Anchor Bar. So I made him some merch from his old bar just to like bolster his spirits. And uh, yeah, so it's sentimental. So, wait, so, so you, you come have, from the bar, the, the family like, of yeah, owning bars. Yeah, my basically. dad had, uh, I think, five different bars. Really? Um, brutal business, by the way. Keep it positive, Tom. <laughs> brutal business. You know, it's, What's, it's which one? Do you no, I love it. I love it. It's just kind of grueling. Schwartz and Sandy's. Which one's better? Which one do you like better? Whoa. That's like t asking me to pick what child I, I know. prefer. Did we asked you which Katie you like to. Yes. <laughs> well, listen, Tom Tom will always be 
I have a very special place in my heart. Just getting to be a business owner in West Hollywood, my favorite city in all of Los yeah. Angeles. It's cool. Sure. It's got like panache. I'm, I'm so proud to have my yeah, name on the this. Yeah, but the place in Hollywood, that, that, oh, that's such a nice niche. I love Franklin Village, and I'm so proud of yeah. Schwartz and Sandy's. But, um, you know, it, it wasn't easy to get that place open. I I, we, I made a lot of rookie mistakes. I was um naive. And, uh, you know, I wish I could go back and, and, and do some things over. But we're open now. We're rocking. Good. And, um, we're and which one are you always at? So we can tell everybody to show <laughs> Thank you, guys. I'm, I'm at Schwartz and Sandy's more. That's kind of our, that's our okay. newborn business yep. baby. And um, We yeah. were there opening yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, 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 things got a little weird after, you know, the whole Why? thing. Just, I, we kind of got... People they kind of tried to cancel us. Yeah, I saw Wait, that, and I didn't that. didn't understand why they would want to try and cancel your business. Which, yeah, when they watch the show, yeah, people watch the show. They understand what the whole premise of Vanderpump Rules is for ten years. Yeah, I mean everybody's sleeping with everybody. Yeah, I mean that's the whole premise but, but of the show. That's why people just it. they're not trying to hurt anything. Right, they're living their lives though. I know it's tough. We're we're in the business of public perception, and at that time, man, it just became like a beacon for like. A lot of negativity. Anyone who has ever yeah. been betrayed or she Well, like, can I tell you that I never liked Raquel, Rachel? No. Uh -huh. Do we see kids in the future for you, Tom? Yes. Yeah. He's ha he You has want lots them. of kids? He has them. He doesn't know about. No. <laughs> I'm telling Maybe. you, three condoms minimum. <laughs> Besides, it'll no. give you it'll give you a lot of girth. I mean, you know how they complain about it being skinny. So it, Tom's gonna come back from Singapore and Thailand and. I'm hanging out with Have someone. Have kids next year. Hanging out with, I've been hanging out with someone, so I'm not looking for that. Oh, wait. Just nothing. You've got a girlfriend. No, no, I don't have a girlfriend at all. I'm just saying. Just I a just, friend with benefits. I'm, I'm just... I, <laughs> when you're in the alley, a quickie will do. I love it. Do you think you'll find love again? Of course. Unequivocally. Yeah. I'm going to find love. Okay. Uh, I'm a lover. I, 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 I'm a serial monogamous though. I, I, I know contrary to what maybe you've seen sometimes on the show when I was yeah. sloppy and lost. Right. Um, and douchey. Um, but I, I just, I can't like date. I can't, I don't, I can't date multiple people. I don't know. Some of my friends do it yeah. and I see them and I'm like, they're so ambitious about it. It's the, they'll be dating like four different people at once. That sounds so stressful to me. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't it? Yeah. It's like a, that's a full time job. And you got to remember what you're telling everybody and yeah. doing it. It's very confusing. There's no way you didn't know your best friend was shacking up with Raquel. Um, That's impossible not to know because you knew. Well, of course you knew because we knew at the wedding. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we saw them at the wedding. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't, so, know, I didn't know that that was happening then. But Oh, yeah, you didn't? No. Well, you know, we saw them at the wedding. Yeah. No one believes me, but yeah. Anyways. How do you not know, though? Let's not get into that. <laughs> but but uh, your intuition. I, you as a person, yeah. you would know. Yeah, I mean, because you know yeah. people's mannerisms say, and yeah. movement. Even when I, even when I didn't know, I kind of knew. Yeah. But did you? Okay, I'm gonna ask you one thing now since we brought this up. Did did it? Did you find it weird when the producers brought kicked us out of the table at the wedding? What first a of bitch all. move! They kicked us out of the table and brought you and 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 Raquel there, and then you guys are kid like that was all produced and bullshit. Yeah. No, right? no, 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 no. Uh, we we were. Um, no, it wasn't actually. Wasn't. No, I probably looked that way because it looked like it was a pre-lit stage and we were about to yeah, play a performance. Um, <laughs> honestly, in the moment, it did feel a little contrived, but yeah. it was organic. Yeah. It was. But okay. I know from your point of view, from your vantage point, it probably looked heavily produced. Yeah, it but did. It wasn't. It, it was like we. I, it did. I, I wanted. Did to, I wanted to, to chat it. with her, and we we had. I don't want to get into this. No, no, but then get back to it too. I thought it was weird because then I saw we Tom. We thought it was all fake. No. Yeah. Oh no, no. Like like we staged a kiss. Yeah. Oh no. Because the producer we're like we're watching it. Yeah, and they're like, oh, you, like how does that? It was well, strange. Again, it was strange. I don't like, know. Like how does that even make sense? He was kissing the other one. Like I, I get it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, am I missing something? Did I not get the email? Yes, I, what kind of a party this is? I'm gonna I'm gonna send you a bill for my therapist because I've repressed it. all of this. <laughs> and I've worked through it. And but you're going to go to Thailand and Singapore, and you're just going to release everything. No, you're going to be coming back as soon as I do your coffee. Oh, yeah. Right, now, let me tell you. You ready for your coffee reading? Um. Oh, yeah. This is amazing. So Paul oh. is going to now do your Armenian coffee reading. Look at that. This started no. with his grandmother reading cups. Great-grandmother. Great-grandmother. And then Paul has the gift, and he basically is going to look in your cup. It's gonna tell We're you not some gonna shit. We go though. that deep. We Maybe can be if you want to. We will. No, we'll go but, deep. Um, no boundaries. Okay. Um, I would tell you you're going on a trip, multiple, yeah. and they're right here. 
Yeah. So, but I already know that. Yeah. Right. But I. But it's on your cup. By by the cup itself. That's why I didn't want you to touch it. And but, move oh. It. Yeah. Look at. And you're right. going somewhere very watery. But here's the clincher. Yeah. I know why you're going. But if you look at this, your heart has such a wound in it that you're trying to heal. Yeah. And there is an aspect of how you're trying to get that closure. And you're hoping that your trip gives you that healing aspect that could give you the strength because there's something that you haven't resolved yet. Yeah. There's an aspect of either it's a friendship, a relationship, or just within yourself that you haven't been able to say, you know what, I can move past this. Yeah. I can move past all of this, but I can't move past this. I can't reconcile with this. And you're hoping when you come back from the trip and see this bump right there, that says that it's weighed heavy on you. Yeah. And for whatever reason, you're trying to reconcile with it. And no matter what you've done, it hasn't been you use the word cathartic. It has you haven't been able to get there with that. And you're hoping this trip is gonna be able to like connect that. Precisely. Yeah. I saw your look. It makes sense from yeah. what you're saying. I, I, I mean, you just nailed it. I mean, that's <laughs> I and, and I'm 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 old enough and wise enough to know that, you know, I can't count on this trip to transform my mindset or right. my life. But yes, um I I I, I am Really looking forward to it, and um, I'm hoping that everything you said sort of comes to fruition afterwards. You know, this oh, one, it, it, it this one aspect, and I'm gonna wait to see if it. Do you see the two parts in there? Do you see the shadows yeah. underneath? Yeah. So interesting. That's why one you haven't been able to reconcile. And yeah. You're hoping that you can. <sighs> um, you don't know how much that resonates with Let me. Take a picture. Really. Which aspect of it? Just that, that I just I don't I don't know. I guess I don't I'm not I've been doing some soul searching. I've been like extra introspective lately. And um I don't know, I've just been in a funk. And I think it's mostly just uh I've had a shitty mindset for the past few years. Some of it's circumstantial. Yeah. But um, you know, I've been around long enough to know that uh you Well, know, we all have family. I, we have extended yeah. families and we have the 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 created yeah. family and it it's not yes. easy. Yeah, maybe I I just, you know, um, yeah, it's it's hard to just be your happy-go-lucky self when you know, like, your family members are suffering, you know? Yeah. Um, not to get too dark here, but... Uh, That's real, though. Yeah, yeah. It's Who, real. You, I mean, yeah, just like, I, I almost lost my brother and my father, and um, it was sorry. just a rough few years, you know? Yeah, they're still with us. That's good. They've persevered, and uh, yeah. I have to yeah. tell you, when I'm touched, mother, by the way, I'm touched from the reading. When my mother passed, well, and you sent that message yeah. to me, that was very... That was a beautiful message you sent to me. And Thank it, you. And it really, yeah. I felt close to you then. I mean, it was Thank really you. a cool you thing. You know, it's interesting that when that happened, um, between Carrie Underwood and some of the other friends that we have, yeah. I mean, they reached out. She actually sang a version of her song, which was his mother's favorite song that she goes, played for her. Played for my mom. Yeah. Really? And it yeah. was just so genuine to was, see the outpouring of love yeah. from our friends and the community that we've built. Yeah. That the uh, the love that we have for each other, the care that we take for one another and the respect is that we have that we extend and it's never lost on us to know that when someone's going through something, even just right a, a, a beautiful word goes a long way it really does it did when it people totally reach did. out to me and just say i'm just checking in like i'm yeah. just, i'm friend rich i'm not <laughs> rich rich but i'm not i'm just I, i'm friend rich i have so many great friends all over the country i have such a good support system yeah and i'm so grateful that's for that rich. It makes it rich. Yeah. that's what it's all about there's a lot of people that have money have no friends and don't even know anybody that can they can call they gotta hire somebody to have to come and yeah. do something <laughs> well we can just call people and yeah. we know they're gonna be there for us and yeah. that 100%. makes you feel like you're really worthy of the friendship that you that they care yes yes uh, I'll tell you something else when you come back you've got another proposal for an opportunity that's gonna be created for you yeah. And this proposal is probably something that you already know about because you already thought about it and it was already conversed about. And now 
you want to execute mm, yes. and you're going to be ready to be able to say, you know what? And you know what yes, that is. I'm down for it. Let's do it. And I'm, I'm going to take the ride with you. There's a lot of little things. I, I, I kind of prefer not to speak no, of course. on it right now. But you know what it Somehow is. It, yeah. I don't know. I don't like to speak. I like to. I, I believe in manifestation and everything, sure. but like when when I talk about things too much before they happen, it like sucks the energy. Same thing. I don't We're know how to thing. articulate this. Yep. I've... This podcast is brought to you by Herdat Media and American Media Television. Executive producers are Patrick Simpson, Paula Tu, and Pat Safford. Produced by Jordan Hill and Sarah Silicula. Shooting and editing by Jordan Hill. Music by Digital Camo. Artwork by Dominique Demetz. And hosted by Pola 2, Patrick Simpson, and Little Snow White 90210. Remember to follow at Pola 2 and at Patrick Simpson and at Snow White 90210 and watch Gown and Out in Beverly Hills on Prime Video. And don't forget to rate, review, and subscribe to this podcast so you never miss an episode.